Hello Commanders, Commander Plaza here back with another Elite Dangerous video, and today we're taking a look at a recent Galnet post which hints we are getting a new engineer in the Witchhead Sector. The Galnet post tells us, the former apprentice of Professor Palin, Chloe Sedesi, will be setting up camp at the Cinder Block located in Witchhead Sector DL-YD17. This comes at the end of the Interstellar Initiative The Enclave, where humanity now has an enclave, I see what you did there Frontier, set up in the Witchhead Sector. There is also the news that there will be a tech broker and a material trader being added to the Witchhead Sector. Which type of tech broker and which type of material trader are currently unannounced, as is their locations. My current guess is that it would be a human tech broker, as Thargoid material is normally needed and it's very close to barnacle sites. Whilst it's not currently known which modules should be capable of engineering, it is likely to be similar to Palin based on the lines from the Gallant article. And yes, it's time for a dodgy accent. I've been working with the professor for years now, and he's taught me so much about rejigging modules to improve their function. Another line that hints at this is, Sedesi is currently overseeing the installation of a facility at Cinderblock in which head sector DL-YD17, which will offer engineering services similar to those previously offered at the Palin Research Centre. Of course, Unless the new engineer offers something new, it's unlikely players will be making the trip out there, especially now Professor Palin is well inside the bubble. Of course, the ability to pin another engineering blueprint for remote engineering will always draw the engineering addicts out. The Galnet post does say the services will be offered once the region star points have been returned to full functionality. Whether or not this will require players to deliver commodities or Frontier will take care of things for us remains to be seen. Based on the fact that there is a huge number of stations still in disrepair from previous Thargoid attacks, it kind of tells us this may not be happening anytime soon with these stations being so far from the bubble. It's good to see the story progressing, but it does continue slowly. It does seem to be in the correct direction though, with the Witchhead Sector being nice and close to Barnard's Loop. Barnard's Loop is the permit locked region of space whose shape matches the symbols displayed on Thargoid ships and barnacles. So, some question marks there, we'll see how it goes. And thank you for watching. Only a short video today with some speculation, as usual the link for the Gownet article is in the description. Leave me a comment and let me know how you think the story will progress, and make sure that you like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you get an alert every time I put a new video out. Also, if you are looking to support the channel, please check out the links in the video description as there are a couple of different ways to do so. But once again, thank you for watching. Commander Plater, out.